The Congo was one of only a handful of places in the world where rubber grew wild, and Leopold acted quickly to exploit it. He formed the Force Publique, an army of Belgians and Africans, and got them to force Congolese natives into rubber harvesting. It was dangerous work and required scaling the tops of trees where the valuable vines hung. Leopold's rush to corner the world's rubber market led to a whole new form of slavery in the Congo and a reign of terror so brutal it would become the worst genocide in African history. It began with a hard leather whip called a shikot. They would use the shikot to punish a Congolese villager who hadn't met his quota. And the shikot basically flayed open the, the skin so that apparently after 20 strokes, you were a bloody pulp. And if you had the misfortune to have uh, 50 strokes or 100 strokes, you died. So it became synonymous with uh, Leopold's rule, and it was uh, a horrible, feared instrument of torture. But to the outside world, the Congo seemed like a perfect colony, profitable, productive, and civilized, all thanks to King Leopold. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside the Congo, things went from bad to worse. When the rubber workers inevitably collapsed from exhaustion, starvation, or disease, the force publique shot them and were ordered to cut off their hands. The force publique were issued with bullets, and the officers who were commanding these mercenaries uh, wanted to see results. So for one of these soldiers not to get punished, if he was sent out with 10 cartridges, he had to have 10 hands of his victims. It's proof that he hadn't wasted his bullets. Often, of course, some of these bullets had been wasted, so there was this extraordinary pictures you get of living Congolese who, while they were still alive, had had their hands severed. Leopold set new standards in colonial brutality. I think he did that because he just was a man in a great hurry. Uh, and he didn't think of the Congolese as human. Few statistics were collected at the time, but estimates put the total number of murdered Congolese at well over 10 million. <laughs> 